After a action-packed week inside Guild Coliseum, uh, here with Coach Jim Zaleski. Coach, um, National Duels, a great event. Uh, OSU went one and one, uh, got to the championship uh, match. Your thoughts on, first of all, the team and then the actual event itself? Well, I think our team, I think, I think our team wrestled well, you know, overall. Uh, you know, beat, 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 beat Michigan, we beat us before. You know, there was some, we reversed some matches. You know, to, to win that match, uh, they kind of got a match back on us. So, you know, from the first time to the last time, I thought we made some progress. Uh, you know, the rest a little bit, a little bit maybe slow the first match, but uh, it was good to get past that meet and then get to wrestle Virginia Tech. We hadn't wrestled Virginia Tech, kind of saw them in a the tournament. You know, just the way the matchups were. You know, they won probably two of the close matchups. That uh, you know, to win dual meets, you got to win those close matchups. And, and 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 unfortunately for us, Virginia Tech won them. What did you see, um, sort of this year as opposed from a team aspect? As opposed to last year, you know, um, the performance on the mats also went one and one in Iowa last year. But was there sort of a difference in maybe intensity competition this year, right? Well, I think our competition was good here. You know, we had Michigan, Oklahoma, and, and Virginia Tech, so I, I think the competition was good. You know, I kind of like the format where you got to win to move on. You know, it puts you know it puts a lot of emphasis on on winning that uh, dual meet. Uh, so I, I like the like the format. You know, it's the second year we've kind of done this format. And unfortunately, we haven't been able to move on to to the final final. Uh, about a weekend yet. And from just a, a fan aspect, I know we had a record crowd here this this year, 1285 was the official attendance. Uh, your thoughts on just sort of the atmosphere and, and really having it here at Gill Coliseum showcasing Western West Coast wrestling. Well, I think it was a great atmosphere. I think it was a great atmosphere. You had two, you know, you have two two dual meets going on at the same time. So maybe there's not once, you know, maybe you can watch this match over here. Not a lot going on, but over here is a great matchup. You know, there were some good individual matchups, you know, in the dual meets. You know, there were some great individual matchups. You know, a lot of guys, you know, 49, they had, you know, four of the top, uh, you know, ranked guys in, in, in you know, top 10 or 12. So, you know, you saw a lot of a lot of good uh, good individuals that you're going to see down the road. And now, I mean, sort of a blessing in disguise. You want to be moving on to Minneapolis, but now at least you look, the silver lining is, is you have some time to rest before Pac-12 is almost two full weeks. Um, your thoughts on kind of just how you guys are going to rest, prepare, um, get yourself ready um, to perform. Well, it's just like a normal year now for us, you know. If we would have went to Minneapolis and, and qualified, we'd only had a, we'd had a short time to get ready for the Pac-12, so you would have to adjust your schedule as a coach. Now we've got, got to go back to what we've been doing the past years, you know. You know, really get a good week of training this week. You know, it gives the guys some rest on the weekend, get a good hard little hard training phase next week, and then get ready for the Pac-12. So it just lets us get mentally – it kind of gives us a mental break to get ready for that, uh, you know, that qualifying tournament. Is it is it sort of a fine line between not taking it too hard, getting the wrestlers and the athletes some rest, but also really kind of getting them ready and drilling them um, for that competition? Well, yeah, you're trying to you're trying to wrestle your best. You're just trying these next two tournaments, you know, especially the next term. The next term, you got to be at your best, wrestling your best, or you don't move on in a lot of cases. So for us, it's getting all our guys, ten guys, to to wrestle the best on that uh, next weekend, next uh, week from Saturday. All right, great. Well, we'll look forward to talking to you next week when we'll get farther in depth and talk about uh, all the action in Tempe, Arizona for the Pac-12s. Until then, have a good week of training. We'll talk to you next week. Thank you.